This is Into the Multiverse with Josh Peck. Welcome to Into the Multiverse. Man, we have a very special interview with you uh, for you guys today with Mike Kerr and Jeannie Moore. Mike and Jeannie, how are you doing from here, The Watchmen? Great. Thank you We're so great. much for having us. Yeah, thank you, Josh. We just love your show. Oh, well, we love you guys, too. The audience loves you. And we have in studio with us Derek Gilbert, host of Skywatch TV, one of my best friends in the world. And uh, how are you doing? Well, <laughs> this is uh, just having a great day. Enjoying the conversation with uh, yeah. Mike and Jeannie uh, off camera, on camera. <laughs> um, and, and, of course... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if people heard some of the stuff we discussed behind the scenes, we should just keep the cameras running behind the scenes here because uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it's just the stuff we talk about all the time just makes it a joy to come to work every day. Oh, it really yeah. is. It truly is. And, you know, that, that's what I love about uh, conferences like yours, like here at the Watchmen, because you replicate that at your uh, conferences. It's, it's always a joy, even if we're talking about, you know, kind of dark matters or, or like, you know, spiritual warfare or prophecy or, or so, sometimes we talk about some dark things, but everybody there is so filled with joy and love and and it's amazing what makes here the watchman so different from any other uh conference out there well i believe that um lives are changed i believe that it's an interactive atmosphere much different and that 99 percent of all the um speaker sessions are held in one giant room as are the the speakers tables where you can interact with them and and purchase their they're amazing CDs, DVDs, and books. So it's really interactive. It's really a family atmosphere. And we encourage networking with one another because we want everyone to go home having, you know, phone numbers and email addresses of, of other people they can fellowship with and be strengthened and empowered to go back into their community full force and be activated with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, I totally, I totally agree with that, Jeannie. And you know, Josh, one of the, I think one of the big things about our conferences is that we're all available to everybody. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have our YouTube channel, and you guys, of course, have Skywatch TV, and you're doing all that, and all the other speakers. And sometimes people think, you know, they watch us all the time, and they see us, and they, they're like, gosh, I'd, I'd like to talk to these guys. Well, at the Hear the Watchman conference, you get time to actually talk to everybody, all the speakers, all of us. They're in this whole battle for Jesus, and it's to bring the body together and, again, activate them for when they go home. That's awesome. And, and there's an amazing lineup of guests, too. Um, just since he's sitting right next to me, we can start with Derek <laughs> Gilbert. What are you going to be talking about? Well, I'll actually be talking about our book, yes. uh, The Day the Earth Stands awesome. Still. Uh, the title of the talk is Crowley, Cthulhu, and Chaos, which is a... Uh, there we go. Mike's got a copy right on his desk there. Yeah. Uh, which actually is uh, r relates to the the modern ancient aliens uh, hypothesis. The ancient aliens theory is uh, based in the occult, mm -hmm. and I'll go through uh, step by step and show the uh, uh, how the teachings of H. P. Blavatsky, uh, Helena Blavatsky, and Aleister Crowley were kind of filtered through the horror fiction author H. P. Lovecraft, mm. creator of the Cthulhu mythos, uh, and how that through forty years of filtering into uh, Europe inspired Eric Von Daniken to write Chariots of the Gods. Believe it or not, wow. Ancient Aliens is an outgrowth of the horror fiction of H.P. Lovecraft in the 20s and 30s who used occult themes for his fiction mm. back then. And now here we are, 90 years, well, 80 years after the death of H.P. Lovecraft. Mm -hmm. And Ancient Aliens is what? 12th season on, uh, yeah. on the History Channel. Yeah. So it, it's, it's bizarre when you look at it, but it's relevant because the modern UFO phenomenon is has become a, a science fiction religion yeah, for the 21st is. century. And statistics show, surveys show, that there are more people believing that Earth is being visited by ETs than believe in God as he's defined in the Bible. A lot of, a lot of American Christians will say, well, yeah, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but when you start digging down into what they actually mean when they say that, you find that it doesn't really line up with what's in the Bible. Right, more like cultural Christians where right. they just kind of take the name because that's what they're I'm a Christian into. because I'm not a Hindu, a Buddhist, or a Muslim, or a Jew. Right. <laughs> um, but do you believe that Jesus lived a sinless life? Well, how about the Holy Spirit? Is that a real entity? Nah, just how about mm -hmm. Satan? Nah, more of a concept or a sim... No. Uh, mm -hmm. There are more people who believe E.T. is visiting us than who believe in God, the God of the Bible. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that's going to be a really important talk. Uh, what are who, who are some of the other uh, speakers and uh, uh, people that will actually be teaching in breakout rooms? Uh, who, who else is on the roster? Well, you know, we're we're so blessed this year to have Henry Groover from with us. He's 
He is Henry's one of the original men that was out there. He's a prayer walker, uh, just a, uh, an amazing man. And we've been praying and trying to connect with him at the right time of the year for three years now. And the Lord finally brought us together so that he could come and share his experiences with everyone. We also, of course, have L.A. Marzuli. Uh, you can't miss L.A. Messianic Rabbi Zev Parat, who is coming all the way from Israel to speak and is just an amazing man. He goes out into the streets of Israel and preaches the gospel. Uh, Pastor Paul Bagley, of course, and uh, Pastor Paul is just, I mean, are you serious? He, yeah, is, yeah. <laughs> he is the guy that really brings it home. And Dr. Michael Lake, who is, is uh, one of the just most interesting men, and he's on fire, uh, just absolutely on fire. And I, I just want to pause here for a second and ask all the people that are listening to this report, to send their prayers to Michael Lake and his family. They, Michael just lost his son-in-law, so uh, give, give them some prayer. Uh, and then, of course, Derek Gilbert, who, uh, as I said on another show, is basically exactly like having Tom Horn there. We're going to try and get him to dress up like Tom <laughs> Horn this year. <laughs> you know, we have uh, our MCs are Lisa Haven, John B. Wells, uh, and Josh Tolley, who's also a speaker, is going to also do some of the MC work. Pastor Carl Gallops. Oh, yeah. Uh, and he's he's just amazing. Uh, we Michael also have Boldea? Michael Boldea, who Michael is Dimitri Dudeman's grandson. Mm. And he actually came over to Dimitri to translate for Dim Dimitri as Dimitri followed what the Lord had laid upon him to do here in the United States. Uh, Bill Salas. Bill is one of the most incredible researchers, has some wonderful books, and is just a, he's a very intellectual man and brings a deep understanding of the scripture and prophecy to the conference. Coach Dave? Coach Dave Dobbenmeyer is like one of the biggest, I mean, motivators, motivators for Jesus <laughs> you'll ever come across. I mean, yeah. he, I don't know how he does what he does. And then we have Casper. Uh, yeah. Casper McLeod. Mm -hmm. He, I mean, Casper will just make you think, um, melt your heart. And I mean, he lays hands on you and prays on you and you would not believe the miracles that happened at our conference through Casper's blessings. Yeah. And then, then and then we, of course, we had uh, Dr. Don Colbert and Mary Colbert mm -hmm. will be there, which uh, they're amazing. Both of them are married. Dr. Don Colbert has a, a whole uh, health line out there. He's been on every major network TV station is one of the most cutting edge men out there talking about how to take care of our bodies mm -hmm. so that we're prepared for the time to come. And we and all know that Mary's a co-writer of the Trump prophecies mm -hmm. and she'll be representing some of Mark Taylor's prophecies as well as talking about her amazing ministry, her prayer national um, prayer ministry, which um, helped get Donald Trump elected. Yeah. And she continues to be an, a huge advocate of um get of draining the swamp and uh getting and repent and having a nation of repentance as opposed to just a cold nation of um unrepentant sinners and so, then the, the breakout sessions josh is going to be doing one and let later with his wife christina yeah and josh is going to be talking about something very interesting which is let in him tell you Okay, go ahead. You tell us. <laughs> well, sure. Uh, so, so some of the end of the multiverse audience might uh, might appreciate this. Um, I, I get a lot of questions, a lot, a lot of emails asking. You know, I, I want to write a book. How do I get started? I wanna I want to have a voice in social media, but I can't get anyone to follow me. You know, what do I do? So, I'm going to be addressing uh, as much of that as I can. Uh, I'm in the process of uh, putting together uh, a really short book on on this this topic. Hopefully, it'll be ready by the time of the conference. But no promises because. <laughs> I don't know for sure. Uh, it's something that I'm just self-publishing and just getting it out there as fast as possible. But uh, because I, I want, I want to give people tools to be able to to have a voice in in this weird modern culture that we live in. Uh, also, Christina Peck will be doing the breakout session with me, and she's going to be talking about what do you do if the grid goes down and you have to make your own stuff, if you have to make your own toothpaste, soaps, that kind of stuff. And actually, why wait till then when a lot of that stuff, actually all of it, is way healthier if you start doing that now, uh, making your own homemade stuff. So she's going to be teaching people how to do that and talking about that. We're uh, we're both really excited, and we both uh, uh, we, we we thank you for inviting us to uh, to do that there. Well, we're just so happy to have you. I mean, we oh man, we we this conference is going to be so incredible because everything is so current. 
Um, all the speakers are um, like yourselves are really thinking of just the, the 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 latest technologies, the latest discoveries, and and the things that relate to what's happening right now. I mean, February and March of 2018 and moving forward. So we love that the conference is very current. It's not stale. And um, it's very, you know, every conference, I think, gets a little more sophisticated in terms of it's taking you from being a baby Christian up to middle school, high school, and, 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 and then up to almost a PhD level. But most importantly, it's to bring you closer to God and to give to activate you to get in your community and do what's right for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, I know every single member of the Into the Multiverse audience is just waiting to find out how they can get their tickets uh, or even the live stream. What, what's all the information? How can people get tickets? When is it? Where is it? Uh, how can they get the live stream? All of that stuff. Give it to us. <laughs> you know, all the all the information, Josh, can be found at hearthewatchmanmen.com, folks. And, you know, you, you really want to try your very best to get there. Get to the conference and be there on person. If for some reason you're in some uh, hardship and you really you're in the local area, you need some help, you know, contact us through the contact button and we'll help you out. We do have a live stream or it's a delayed stream program uh, on demand where you can purchase a ticket for that on the website and you can have up to six months to watch it. When I say there's a delay, it's an hour and a half delay from when the speaker actually speaks to when it's uploaded to the Vimeo platform. That's to provide you with a much more fluid and high quality experience with the conference. Now there is a promotional code that you can use to get $20 off your ticket and 20% off your live streaming. your streaming of the conference. And what, do you guys know what that code is? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I can be polite and give Derek's first. If you uh, if you type in Gilbert20, or you can type in Peck20 if you like me more, and it is into the multiverse, so you better. <laughs> but <laughs> you can use either of those promo codes to get $20 off of uh, off your ticket. Yeah, it's, it's a great deal. Um, and by the way, hotel rooms are going quickly. So please, if you decide to come, Go to our website, click the book a room button, get your hotel room. I think we have, what, 20 rooms left or something, and that's it. And they're only $99 a night. They're beautiful rooms, normally $179 a night. And it's a great hotel. It's easy access from the airport. Flights are super inexpensive to get to Dallas. And you literally get a free shuttle to the hotel. And the hotel has plenty of food um, you know, resources in the hotel. You can dine with other conference members. And we're doing something a little different on the first um, day where people show up on Thursday night to get their credentials. Um, we're doing a little meet and greet kind of thing. So um, if you've never been to a Hear the Watchman conference and you're coming alone, you are going to be so warmly welcomed and taken care of. It's, it's going to be great. And um, we just we have so many surprises in store that we that we're we're not even going to discuss on this show because <laughs> we want a little bit of surprise element once you get there. Sure. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for uh, putting all this together and for uh, joining us on Into the Multiverse to tell us all about it. We are really, really excited. Well, we're we're just blessed and excited to have you. We just want to come encourage people. You know, we all have two dogs that live within us. One's the angry dog that's always running around there barking and chasing everything. And the other one's the happy dog that sits next to us. And if you want to know which one do you want to be, it's the one you feed. So come to hear the watchman because we help you feed the happy dog. <laughs> Amen. Well, thank you so much again, guys. And thank you, Derek, for joining me on My Into honor. the Multiverse. It's My always honor. good to have you. And uh, thank all of you, uh, the whole Into the Multiverse audience, for joining us yet again. And until next time, get your tickets. Take care and God bless. I've said many times that I have no idea how I wound up where I am. But when I look over the course of my life now, I can see the hand of God was in it from the beginning. 
You know, many people have followed my father's professional career, but very few know the story of how God took a small, barefoot child in the desert and brought him into the life and ministry that we all see today. In his teens, he would retreat out to the desert sands all by himself and lie down under the stars. And he would wonder about things like the universe. Was there a God? You know, he didn't know. But what he did know was that mere science and mathematics were never going to explain the vast cosmos up above him. But one night, he died and my mom literally came in and found him lying there cold as stone. And the answers that he'd been looking for finally started to come like a flood. Learn the true life story of how Tom Horn cheated death three times. Met with a dark spiritual entity who fled at the mere mention of Jesus Christ and the events that led him to take on difficult subjects that the church avoided in order to become a fisher of men. It's surreal to think that God chose me, of all people, to write the things um, that I've written and speak the things that I've said. But each of us leaves a footprint. This is why I've chosen now to share my story. It's not about me. It's about tomorrow's leaders. My life proves that God can and will use anyone. For the first time ever, my father, Dr. Thomas Horn, tells his amazing personal story in the new biography, The Boy from El Mirage. Walk with him from his adventurous childhood through his colorful teens and all the way to the miracles that led him into full-time ministry. You'll learn how God impassioned my father with a heart to reach the lost, and in particular, children who are looking for hope beyond life's circumstances. This includes the creation of Whispering Ponies Ranch, a special place that he and Nita Horner building where children who need a second chance in life are given the opportunity to experience the love of Jesus firsthand. Now you can take part in that ministry effort by supporting Whispering Ponies Ranch with your donation of $20 or more for the Building Hope special offer. In this limited time collection, you'll receive Dr. Thomas Horn's never before released biography, The Boy from El Mirage, Founder of the Royal Family Kids Organization, Wayne Tesh's book, From Despair to an Heir, Reviving the Heart of a Child. A Legacy of Hope, Stories from Royal Family Kids, Nita Horn's memoir, No Fences, and the full-length award-winning motion picture DVD, Camp, inspired by the true stories of Royal Family Kids. Offered separately, these items hold a value of over $90. But we want to send these love gifts to you now when you donate $20 or more to help provide these little ones with new smiles and life-changing experiences. These are lives changed entirely because of you, and we thank you in advance for helping transform the lives of hurting children and adults one therapy pony at a time. The Building Hope special offer is available now for a limited time at skywatchtvstore.com or by calling 844-750-4985.